Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I did to put this baby together. This uh, Tomahawk Mini ITX. So, this particular one is the RC21. Um, as you can see, uh, a friend of mine purchased this. And uh, his son uh, was trying to put it together, having a hard time, was unable to get it working. So uh, this was uh, given to me, and uh, believe it or not, I could not find any good instructions, but I went through and was able to plug everything together. So as you can see, uh, literally, you got a CPU connector back there, and then the rest kind of all falls in place. Uh, a few of the things that I noticed, uh, the fans were not plugged right, and also the memory. The memory dims were not plugged all the way in, so make sure that you get those suckers all the way in. Uh, that's very important to get the memory dims all the way in. Uh, and literally, you got a fan up on the top, the CPU fan goes up there, and then uh, the rest is USB right there. I hope you guys can see this. Uh, so a lot of the cables it comes with, it's pretty straightforward, but this power option here, so as you can see right over there, um, where it says power and reset, so that has to be done in a certain way. Uh, literally, they're facing out, and as you can see, they're staggered a little bit. So the reset is first, and then the power is right behind it. Hope, hopefully, you can see it. So if you have one of these and you're trying to connect it, you're going to go through the same thing. Um, then back there, you got another fan. So uh, this is how this little power supply goes. And uh, we're going to do a little better cable management, uh, tie it all up. But for now, that's how this baby looks. And um, this is the back. Let me rotate it a little bit here. So you can see the back. And that's where I connected everything. So literally got a CPU on the top and then the motherboard connections goes right there. And uh, that's it. Uh, right here you have the, the hard drive, which is uh, a SATA um, NVE ME uh, drive. So it's an M2 drive. Um, and the only thing I was unable to plug is this plug here this is for the small mini uh usb c uh right here so i wasn't able to plug that i could not find a spot on the motherboard for this so basically this mother particular motherboard does not have a place to plug that so this here is not going to work in the front there is one in the back so that is what we're going to be using which is right over here so you know, we'll be using that one, but I could not find anywhere else in the motherboard to plug this. So that's it. There you have it. Good luck if you're having the same issue. So right now I got it up on the screen. I'm at the BIOS level. I'm going to go ahead and install the OS. And uh, this is it.